Hello, it's Beverly again with the Intuitive Interior. Time for the last day of my nine day series around the Bagua map. Day nine, the South Sector, fame and reputation. This one, I'm gonna grab my little sheet here so that you can see what I'm talking about. It's the red square. And this one corresponds with the fire element. The fire element uh, is, well, fiery. <laughs> I mean, think about it. It is, it is the one that it, it's like fireworks. It's like, wow, we got all this amazing exuberance. <sighs> Except if fire isn't under control, it can burn the house down <laughs> or it can, you know, burn rainforests down or it can heat a home. So there needs to be like the right balance of fire in this sector so that you can make sure that you've got that right amount of heat because like, come on, one of my favorite things in the world is, is cooking. I enjoy making meals. And it wasn't until I experienced the temperature control of a gas stove versus an electric stove that I really became even more enamored with the concept of fire and how to, how it can be controlled. Um, so again, if you look here at the five element protocol, we've got fire over here. What do you need to start a fire? Well, you need wood. You have to have some kind of a fuel source. And then the fuel source, you, you take that, that, that um, you feed the fire, the fire then burns down and creates ash, which is con uh, collectively improves the soil. Inside the soil, it creates more metal, and metal creates water. Think about condensation, okay? So the, how on, on a glass, a cold glass, you get the condensation on the outside. That's the, the theory, you know, that's the concept of how that works. And then you need water to make the trees grow, and boom, it goes all the way around. And then in here, that's the, that's the constructive cycle. The destructive cycles, if you need to um, uh, put fire out, you, you throw water on it. <laughs> and so you can drain fire, um, fire melon by adding more of the earth element. Candles are a great way to bring fire into uh, this sector, the south sector. Uh, this is another way to, to really enhance that. Our animals and animal prints because well, animals are your natural exuberance you know they your dog is usually very happy to see you cats tolerate you very well and sometimes they let you play with them um, <laughs> um, but having that general upbeat and bubbly feeling is part of that fiery uh, uh, aspect um, some of the other terms this uh, and I'm gonna get these uploaded I promise uh, but some of the terms that we've got in here for the fire element for a personality, some of you may recognize. Fire is the fire element, and as a, as a, ex, experienced as a personality characteristic, um, they're sensitive, empathetic, affectionate, pleasure oriented, open, lacks boundaries, uh, sociable, optimistic, scattered, generous performer, or sometimes you might come across as fake, demonstrative, easily addicted, manic, and sensual. So some of these are, that doesn't mean that everybody who has the fire element in them. Uh, some of those are the more positive uh, characteristics. Some of them are a little less, you know, they were a little more problematic. We all have those, you know, we, everybody has all of the five elements in our personalities. Some are just much more pronounced than others. So why do you even want to worry about the fire, uh, about, about the, the fame and reputation sector? Think about this. If you're in marketing, what is one of the best things for you to have happen? It's if uh, you know, your marketing suddenly gets shared without you having to pay for it, you know, going viral, uh, so to speak. That is the quintessential way of activating, of a desire for a, having an active uh, fame and reputation sector. It's really what is it that people are saying about you when you're not around. Why this matters though to make sure that you are in full alignment with that 
is because if you don't know exactly who you are on the inside, how do you know what other people are going to take away from that? And how do you know that the reputation that you're spreading out there is the one that you want? <laughs> you know, we, we have we have had experiences um, throughout life where you'll hear rumors and are those rumors true? Are they really about what it is that, that truly happened? You know, or are they spreading good, you know, the good news about you? That's where things need to be very clear. So if you happen to be, sadly, on the receiving end of some ugly rumors, looking at what's going on in your family reputation sector would be a good way to try to like tamp some of that down. How do you tamp down the the fame you know that that the sector adding more earth that kind of diminishes how much is as that how, you know, the, the actual overall energy if you really are trying to get things out there more you want to make sure that you bring in um bring in uh, some wood elements in there because that's feeding the fire and you have to keep feeding the fire so here here's how all of the five elements can work together in you know the overall scheme of life. Think about a rocket ship. You've got the earth element, which is the landing pad. You've got the metal element, which is the fuselage. So you've got the container. Then you have the where you're trying to go. <laughs> you know, what is your goal? That's the wood element. And then you have to have a cooling system. Uh, in there, otherwise the whole thing's just gonna blow, you know, melt down as you're as you're going through the stratosphere. So there's the water element, but you're never gonna get off the ground unless you have fire. You have to have some kind of ignition thing that's gonna lift you up and get you going. And your car, there's got to be some kind of a oomph. So the fire element, that's the that's the overall oomph. Um, one of the other things that if you know with fame and reputation is it also governs public speaking and how many people love public speaking yeah most people would rather um they literally would rather die than be out in front of folks it's a lot easier with these kind of lives with these kind of videos to to get out there because you don't really have all the people right in front of you but you know what you're still putting yourself out there and if you are in need of doing some kind of expansion project, uh, or or you know, getting getting the word out there about you know what is it you're trying to accomplish. One of the oils, the intangibles that I like to bring in, is helichrysum. Okay, this one is you know I've, I actually have this one in in the revive uh, formula. I've also got it in the Young Living formula. You you can get helichrysum a lot of different places. I I believe you can even get it. Um, you know, like sprouts or you know, just Google it. Um, and it's uh, H-E-L-I-C-H-R-Y-S-U-M. The reason why this one, uh, when I was muscle testing for a single easy to get oil uh, for this is because it deals with discomfort. It deals with pain, emotional pain, because a lot of times people get up there and they're like, what are they gonna say about me? Oh, you know, and you kind of freak, you freak yourself out. Ask me how I know. <laughs> but this particular oil is fantastic for dealing with that kind of pain, with that kind of concept of what if somebody comes after me? What if there's a troll? What if there's, uh, you know, somebody who wants to start a rumor? This helps you, you get congruent first within yourself that you'll survive whatever is going on or out there and it helps you get out of your own way. Um, so some of the things that this one really deals with is um, not only fear of hearing some of the feedback, but also sometimes the fear of, but, but what if they really do like me? Oftentimes people tend to, gear, to gird themselves more against fear of failure and they forget that sometimes there's a fear of success too that you have to acknowledge. So back to the whole tapping again. You know the routine by now where you're tapping on the atlas and C1. And I want you to take a deep breath 
and then say, I am a success. I trust. I am in tune with my direction. I face reality and I am responsible for my success. Take a deep breath. And just kind of feel that go through your body and know that you're ready to go and be out there and make sure that you can t and make sure that that story is one that you are ready to have told for everybody out there. Because first you have to get right with the story that you're telling yourself. All right, so that is the end of my nine day trip around the Bagua map. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, if there's any questions, just put it in the comments and uh, I will be looking forward to producing more of these down the road for, well, who knows. It's time that we all take a good look at the space that we're around, um, that, 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 that surrounds us, because it improves your home, it improves your job, and improves your mental and physical health, because, you know, it just does. <laughs> all right, thanks so much. Have a great day.